According to the directions, and a can of frozen orange juice concentrate, one can of concentrate is to be mixed with three cans of water to make orange juice. How many 12 ounce cans of the concentrate are required to prepare 206 ounce servings of orange juice? So this problem is a ratio problem, which normally means I would love it. However, this problem I actually recognize because I think this problem is the only official GMAT practice problem that I believe has a mistake in it. Um, because I think it requires that you assume that the cans of water are the same volume as the cans of concentrate, which it does not specify. It tells you that each of the concentrate cans is 12 ounces, but it does not tell you how many cans or how many ounces are in each can of water, which I believe it should. So if I'm wrong, please leave a comment letting me know uh, why I'm wrong. But I believe uh, that's a mistake on the GMAT writer's part here. However, so uh, if we were to assume that uh, the cans of water and the cans of concentrate were the same volume, how would we do this? Then it's a straightforward ratio problem. So we have this ratio of concentrate to water. And so first, so we need to convert uh, from just the cans we have to how many ounces we have, because they ask us um, how many cans we need to, to prepare this many ounces. So to start, we have this ratio of one can of concentrate. And so we can call that just one X or just X. We have X cans of concentrate for every three X cans of water. Meaning total, we should have 4x cans of orange juice. Um, and now we need to convert this into how much volume we have. So if we have x cans of concentrate, each can is 12 ounces, and we have 12x ounces of concentrate. And then again here, if we assume each of our cans of water is also 12 ounces. We should just have uh, 3x times 12, which is 36 ounces. Sorry, 36x ounces of water for a total of 48x ounces of orange juice. And so what do we know? Uh, we know overall we need 206 ounce servings of orange juice, which is 1,200 ounces. So something's got to be equal to 1,200 ounces. And that's our total ounces, right? Uh, so we have this equation, which allows us to solve for x. Uh, again, make sure you're good with your labeling so you know uh, what you're looking for. Um, we're looking for our 12-ounce cans, uh, or sorry, uh, how many cans of concentrate we need. So that is x, right? Not 3x. We are just looking for x, uh, which should be easy to solve for because we have an equation here that's going to allow us to do that. So x should be equal to 1,200 divided by 48. And now it's just don't make a math mistake. Uh, we can break 48 up into 6 times 8, right? Should make things a bit easier. So 1,200 divided by 6 is 200. And then 200 divided by 8 is 25. So 25 cans of our concentrate, which is A. Likewise, we would need, looks like, 75 cans of our water, uh, which they could have included as a trap answer, but they didn't. A.